Hello and welcome to another episode of my F120 through my team career mate Here today for part 2 for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix And our first sprint race of the career mode We're starting at the back, let's go to the sprint race Get ahead on strategy, who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Russell, Norris, Sainz, Perez, Ocon, Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Albon, Sonoda, Joe, Holkenberg, Magnussen, Fittipaldi, Sargent, Brown, Sargent. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. So we're going to be starting on the mediums for the very pointless nine laps of this Grand Prix and Sprint Race. I wish there was a way you could turn the sprint races off because there's some really good races this, this year that have sprint races and you can't get away from them. So let's go to the race, sprint race. There's five red lights, come on. And it's lights out and away we go. And we're going to look to go straight up the inside of the house our teammate and the two and the Williams and the two horses as we get past all three of them there and next up is Joe and Sonoda going wheel to wheel we look to get a good exit here it's now we're getting closer and closer and closer we're in the tyre tracks of the Alfa Romeo to wait for it send it lay up the inside of both of them next up is Albon in the Williams as we need to gain as many places as possible we can only go forward really as we try we go up the inside through the chicane Albon covers us off and it keeps that position for us as we enter the twisty tight section we're going to send it like up the inside Albon it looks like he may have just tapped the wall as he gives us space and next up is the McLaren of Oscar Piastri as now we go through the very quick S section in the background we've started to pull a little bit of a gap we haven't got the pace of the McLaren and they are three wide Joe, Albon and Sonoda Albon gonna keep it pinned through the middle of both of them and it stays ahead Joe though and Sonoda both still side by side Joe on the inside Sonoda tries to hold her on the outside, but he can't. And Sonoda's through. Joe on the inside has to admit defeat. And now... Sonoda hunts down after Albon and Sargent and Hulkenberg. Going wheel to wheel there. Hulkenberg with the inside, Sargent around the outside. Sargent gets the job done on the returning German driver to the, to the grid we couldn't get away though and this is Albon on lap 3 with the DRS gets past us, we're going to linger though at the inside, send it back up the inside get the job done on Albon, stay ahead of Albon Sonoda though, now right on the back of the tyre driver as we head up then towards turn three so, and Albon is still there is he going to go up the inside yes he is he sends it late we're going to hold it round the outside if we can and we do and now we have the inside line to hold him off and his job done we stay ahead once more of Albon as now we go through the tight S section 
and now this helicopter camera angle what a camera angle this is as we get closer and closer to Zalbon on the outside we're once again gonna hold the inside line and we stay ahead of Albon and Albon going wide has allowed Sonoda to sneak up the inside of Albon and now Sonoda's having a go as he goes to the outside as we head down towards the first corner we send it back down the inside of Sonoda and Albon sees his chance to really take the Alfa Tari and he takes it and he's back past then the, the Alfa Tari as the load is not done yet though trying to go back up the inside Albon holds the line round the outside and he stays ahead there of Sonoda and Albon it wouldn't take long he's right back on the back of us he's now on the outside we defend the inside once again this time we're a little bit further back Sonoda can't do what he did a couple of laps ago but the Haas can up the inside goes Magnussen the ever aggressive Magnussen will swill with Sonoda and now Alpen on the back of us this time though he finds himself on the inside like he did a couple of laps ago but this time we can't keep it pinned round the outside and that is job done on us by Albon catches us out there and now as we head on to the final lap Sonoda goes up our inside you can see Albon has just disappeared but Sonoda doesn't appear to have the straight line speed but with the overtake button he shot does up the inside we fend him off round the outside on the final lap of the sprint race now he's practically pushing us through the s-section and down the final pitch straight and it's a sprint to the line can Sonoda get us on the line he's getting close we're gonna pull out he has the DRS he's getting closer and closer but he's not getting close enough and we will start the race P15 right, so Max is up and wins the sprint from Charles Leclerc and George Russell as you'd expect really Max is happening it was really kind of low at the back in Bahrain but let's see what he can do in the race from lights out and the all important sprint towards turn one. Welcome to another Formula One Grand Prix. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience, and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one, leading to a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Stroll, Bottas, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Albert, Brown, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Fittipaldi, Sergeant, Joe, Sergeant. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And what's the emotions like down there on the grid in these final stirring moments? Are they excited? Are they nervous? Take us behind the wheel. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position. But are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? I'm also looking forward to seeing the different strategies in play today. Those who are starting on the red mark soft tyre are going to have a little bit more grip early on, but they have to make it count before that degradation starts to set in. So we're here on the grid then. We're going to be doing a one-stopper. Starting on the mediums, going to the hard tyres. There is potential for two. Starting on the mediums and going to the two sets of the soft tyres but we're not really going to have the pace I don't think in this race so let's just stick to what we know and play it safe with a one stopper as everyone now lines up on the grid 
Lady managed to get the parking bang on purple, sure and now he can see the yellow and white. So there's five red lights for the second time this weekend in this video. We're racing again in Baku, and this time we're gonna go to the outsiders. So now they up the inside, he goes the Alpha Tauri, and a massive dive bomb there on three cars. We get pinched though on the outside and boxed in here for some on the brakes so we don't hit the back of the Alpine we then switch it laid up the inside into turn 2 he gets past the Williams there of Sergeant who we lost out to now we're in the tyre tracks of the Alpha Tauri and now on the Alpine we're going to slice our way through the middle of both of them a bit like what Albon did in the spring that's a very juicy move now we're on the back of Bottas, but it's going to send it late up the inside. And now, look, he's in front of it again, it's Oscar Piastri, it's just like it was back in the sprint race. Bottas all over the back of us, he's going to try and go to the outside to retake the position, but we did manage to stay ahead for now. Piastri ahead on the hard tyres, so he's not getting away like he did in the sprint. As wheel to wheel, Bottas, the ever aggressive Bottas, or not in that case, doesn't send it back down the inside like I'm sure he could have there. And we stay ahead of Bottas once again there. Bottas is about as aggressive as a plastic bag sometimes in Formula 1. As we manage to stick with Piastri, those hard tyres really not working on that McLaren is Bottas all over the back of us still. As we finally just about managed to get in the DRS of Piastri. We end up having to battle really hard with Bottas. Harder than I would originally have thought. You can see Bottas and the hard tyres and many of them the heart behind. All on the hard tyres. As now, this is Gasly getting his way back through. He's going wheel to wheel. With Bottas trying to hold it around the outside of Bottas there. And it looks like he's got the job done and he has on Valtteri Bottas. We go a bit deep though. Coming out of turn two. And now Gasly Bottas dropped back massively. Piastri starting to disappear. Up the inside goes Gasly. We try and hold it around the outside and we do. And now can we keep the Alpine behind for longer. It's getting to the points now where the soft runners are starting to think about stopping. As this is this is Fittipaldi, this is our teammate. That Mercedes engine in the back of his car has popped and that's something I didn't want to see. Especially this early on in the season, it's only the second race and the Mercedes engine has popped and now that puts question marks over our engine is ours going to do the same or is it going to hold up? That's something to worry about now hopefully the same doesn't happen to us as now Gasly is on the back of us once again through the very quick ass section now Gasly getting closer you can see Piastri has gone now yeah, we don't need to worry about him now, unfortunately. We had the pace earlier on, but we were battling too hard. Gasly on the inside of us. And it's job done for Gasly this time. Unless we can get back up the inside of him. We think about it there, but we're just too far back. And we have a guy back at the inside, we're going to think about it, but we're just too far back to do so. So now we're on the back, Sonoda, as those behind on the soft tyres begin to pit, and that's exactly what Sonoda's doing, so the battle really didn't last very long with Sonoda. But look, he's back, Valtteri Bottas on our outside, we fend off the inside, Bottas round the outside it's still there at the inside and we do stay ahead as look at that Lewis Hamilton out of the pits absolutely sends it 
down inside. He's gone on to the soft eyes. He needs a good result here in Bakim after the absolute shocker he had back in Bahrain in the first episode of his career mode when he spun and absolutely bottled it from the win. So now Alonso is on the back of us, he's also pitted, he's on the hard tyre, so a lot of different strategies at play today in backing. But we won't be battling very long because we are going to pit now and do our one and only stop of the day as now we have to trundle down the very, very long pit lane as our garage is right at the very end. A lot of those behind us started on the soft so they have pitted a long time before us so now we're going to have to watch out for them and unfortunately though we have lost a lot of time and a lot of places because most of them who started on the soft behind us have all massively jumped us as you can see on the timing tower so if we go on all the way to lap 16 now we just couldn't catch Albon, the gap was just staying around 3 seconds to thereabouts and we just couldn't get it down we just couldn't. now we've got Gassi all over the back of us, he was two stopping so our hard tyres really this should be easy for Gasly really and it is easy for Gasly he has got passes there, we do try and defend to the outside but Gasly's through you can see the pack that Albon's in, the gap just staying around 3 seconds just struggling to get close to them but in front this is Bottas and Albon Albon finally having a run on Bottas, Albon trying to go to the outside there's, there's Gasly though, watch Gasly Bottas on the outside, Albon on the inside and Pierre Gasly goes through on both of them, he gets Albon round the outside, he goes on Bottas. What a move by Gasly, as now we tried to go up the inside but Albon's learned from what we did to him in the sprint race. We stay behind Albon for now. Looking to really try to get the job done though, we've fallen back again though and now as Albon goes for round two on Bottas, we are battling Sonoda once again, there's just a handful of laps to go. Albon gets the job done on Bottas, Sonoda's too far back on us. One lap later we've got on the back of Bottas, Sonoda's there in the background, can Sonoda have a go on us, but we set it up the inside of Bottas and get the job done, as we continue to chase after Albon. But can we get close enough? There's just one lap to go. On to the final lap. We just can't catch that Williams. It's too quick in a straight line. As this is Sonoda who overtakes us. It's just like it was in the sprint. Pretty much. Sonoda gets the job and we have a massive time slapper coming out of, of the first corner. I might well be that. But this man, Max Verstappen back up the front and he's going to win his first race of the career mode and that's more of what I expected back in Bahrain it's a Red Bull 1-2 from the Mercedes of George Russell and we are going to come home to finish where we started in P15 our engine held up after the worry of Fitter Power is blowing up But we do stay ahead and it's going to be a P15. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi.
quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So that's been the uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix won by Max Verstappen, really just cruising and a Red Bull won too as well as they take the lead in the constructors but we will get onto that in just a minute but B15 for us, pretty okay result we finished where we started but that does not tell the full story of that race the strategy really hurt as it does look like not even the two stop was quicker but just stopping the soft to hard was really the strategy for today max also takes over the lead of the driver's championship ahead of carlos Sainz, who won last time out in bahrain we have jumped up to 14th we are the only with the highest placed driver who hasn't scored a point yet. We go to Monaco next and I am looking to eye up some points there, possibly our first points of the career mode. We've normally gone well around Monaco and anything can happen in Monaco. We're also the highest placed team who haven't scored a point, just behind Alfa Romeo who's got one point this season. And, and along with us, Haas and Alfa are still yet to score this season. So that's been this video then, I hope you enjoyed it. Two very interesting races, one sprint, one proper race. Sorry for sounding a bit annoyed for this video, this is the third time I've tried to record this. And so hopefully it works. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. We head to Monaco next. And I'll see you in the Principality. Goodbye.